The Irving Art Center celebrates their newest exhibit, Artistry and Inspiration, with the annual Meet the Artist reception presented by the Irving Black Arts Council. I really feel like I'm amongst great artists, you know, and I just appreciate being seen. It is an opportunity I would have I never passed up. In respect to COVID guidelines, the event allowed groups of 25 people in 30 minute increments, allowing guests and artists a safe space to roam the gallery. And it's super exciting to see this beautiful space featuring all these different artists and all of the beautiful work that they have to showcase. The work of eight artists were on display at this year's exhibit, each one offering a different story behind their pieces. I have quite a few um, pieces from different parts of my work. I'm a photographer and I'm featuring works from my series entitled I Am Woman, which is a celebration of the female essence. This piece is entitled Grandma's Hands, and so the poetry that accompanies this piece is not necessarily to tell you what the piece is about because the photograph stands on its own, but the poetry is a different expression of all of the things these hands did to move our legacy forward. So I'm really big on using a lot of color, um, a lot of movement in my, in my artwork, and also making sure that I have a message in my artwork. One day I was working outside in the, during the summer, and I witnessed a butterfly flying by me and it was, it landed on top of a flower and it reminded me of being with the love of your life. And so I, I put the butterflies in human form and the flowers in human form. And the message behind the artwork is like a butterfly who sucks the nectar from a flower, um, we connect. I am an abstract artist. I have six pieces here today. This is really an homage to my mom because uh, she taught us, you know, to be, you know, uh, girly and put your pearls on and, you know, fix your hair up and just go about your life and be beautiful and beautiful not only in the way you look but in your deeds. And so that's why I have pearls on this particular uh, painting because it's about wisdom. I can describe my art as mixed media. Very layered, very, very three-dimensional. This piece is called Fragmented and it represents the brokenness uh, of a woman that we've been through, the different layers. So that's why her face is pretty distorted. There's different shapes and things like that. So it kind of describes internally the things that we deal with from a female's perspective and how we kind of overcome and showing the beauty even on the outside or the other side of the brokenness and things that we've gone through because even though her face is kind of very distorted, it's a very beautiful, beautiful piece. So the art that I have on display today is a part of my uh, style that I call my face blackness style. Um, it's a style that was created out of uh, basically a sense of wanting to um, highlight some of the challenges that black people have experienced as a part of racial, you know, um, segregation, Jim Crow South, and those various things. I tried to uh, choose people that were uh, innovators, trailblazers, or people that, that had made uh, major strides highlighting the uh, African American achievement. The art that I have here today is has to do with women and women's issues, and this piece is called For Women by Nina Simone based off her song, and it basically is my interpretation of the narrative of that song. And you start off with this piece, the black represents her black skin, the red represents the blood from those whiplashes on her back. Sharing their stories behind these works of art is impactful to both the community and the artists. It feels really fantastic because I feel as an African American woman sometimes our voices are devalued and our viewpoints are devalued. So I try to speak from the feminine perspective, but most, most importantly, the perspective of a black woman. Getting to hear these stories in person embraces the community's diversity and brings a sense of hope to the future. We've been kind of, you know, um, in this glass bubble, if you will, of looking at art online and now to be able to look at it in person and to see it up close, it's very, very hopeful for the things to come. For About Town, this is Susan Stevens.